What's up, everybody? I am here with Plato. Welcome to the show. We are going to be talking about Zack Snyder's DC era officially being over. This is from Screen Rants. None of the Justice League cast will reprise their roles in Guns DCU. At this point, I don't know what to think. I am so confused about the direction of the DCU. Uh, every other day, I'm seeing updates that completely contradict the previous updates, and it's just, if you recall, we had Gal Gadot confirm herself that she was going to be Wonder Woman, or at least she was in talks to be in Wonder Woman 3, but I guess that's not happening. Aquaman 2, that's going to be the last movie in the DCEU, and then he's done. Pretty sure that I read a story just today that he's probably going to be Lobo in the DCU. I mean, I guess I can understand. You know, Jason Momoa is a pretty good actor. I enjoyed him in Aquaman 1. And of course, he's sticking it to Amber Heard on set, apparently. Dressing up as uh, Mr. JD. <laughs> Just to troll her. I guess he tried to get her fired. Based. But despite that, he is not going to be Aquaman anymore after this. And The Flash? Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness, though. Honestly. I'm glad The Flash is not going to be coming back. Makes me happy. Henry Cavill? That sucks. He didn't deserve to be let go. Uh, ben Affleck, eh, whatever. I mean, he was an okay Batman, but I'm not like the biggest DCU fan ever. But I'm also not a fan of the current direction of the DCU. Let's read the story. Let's get a little bit more proper context. According to a new report, all six cast members from Zack Snyder's Justice League era of the DC Extended Universe will not return to reprise their roles in the new DC Universe spearheaded by James Gunn and Peter Safran. As the co-CEOs of DC Studios, Gunn and Safran are overseeing the relaunch of the DCEU into the new DCU, which includes a number of casting changes. Yeah, no kidding. While it was known that Henry Cavill was out as Superman, unfortunately, now the status of the other five Justice League actors is clearer. People will still defend Henry Cavill being let go and David Cornsweet being brought in. But they look almost exactly the same. Henry Cavill is maybe a little bit more buff. I've seen some truly strange arguments concerning those two actors. In a new report from Variety on the behind-the-scenes drama of final DCEU movie, Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom, the trade notes that none of the stars cast by Zack Snyder will reprise their roles in the new DC universe in character. So what was that all about, James? What was that all about? Saying that some characters might return and some won't. I guess all he meant was only the Peacemaker characters because these other ones, the originals, they're gone. I guess it's official until maybe he changes his mind. <laughs> He's been doing this a lot. He's like, no one's going to return. Everyone's going to return. Some are going to return. Okay, now no one's going to return. <laughs> he can't make up his mind. I wonder if he's reacting solely to fan backlash and just like changing his decisions as he goes along. I, I think I suggested that in one of my previous videos about this whole thing, but I don't, I don't know. I, I, re I really don't know. And honestly, like the more I read about it, the less I want to watch this stuff. And I'm a big Superman fan. And sometimes I'm, I'm a little bit more of a Superman fan than a Spider-Man fan. Those are like my top two. You have something right here, Fandom Wire. It's okay to be confused. James Gunn confirms two projects will determine what's still canon in DCU. He's doing nothing but confusing and irritating all of the DC fans out there. He's throwing everything into disarray. I'm not even sure why. However, it is possible that we could be seeing these actors again, just not in the same roles. As I was just mentioning, Jason Momoa could be Lobo. It's being reported that he is in talks to play the dream role. I mean, it is his dream role. He was talking about this long ago. It's not, it's not new. He's been wanting this, and he really would be a good fit for Lobo. If you can see them side by side, you saw him in Game of Thrones, you probably feel the same way. But it says it's looking like Jason Momoa may finally be landing his dream role. Now, Will Gal Gadot or Henry Cavill or any of those people come back? I mean, the way that everyone was let go and that these other characters like Peacemaker that was in the DCEU before the transition happened, we're still going to get Peacemaker. We're still going to get James Gunn's wife. A recent report by Variety goes behind the scenes into the upcoming sequel, Aquaman in the Lost Kingdom, chronicling some of the various issues that have affected the production. The report also mentions how James Gunn and Peter Safran are rebooting DC's movie slate from scratch with the DCU, and it will come with many significant casting changes. Word is that Momoa won't be returning as Aquaman in the DCU. That's apparently confirmed now by Screen Rant, but he has engaged in talks to play Lobo, either for his own standalone film or an appearance in Gunn's upcoming movie, Superman Legacy. 
I don't know. I, I wouldn't be against seeing Superman face off against Lobo. But at this rate, is anybody going to stick around for the DCU? I'm wondering that myself. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't had the chance to share it with your friends, that would be awesome. And hey, if you're feeling ultra spicy, consider subscribing to my channel so that you're always up to date on what kind of thing I've got going on. I look forward to seeing you all again next time. Later. Meow, meow.